Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Trains with Shane. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. It's good to see you again. So, we are working on N-Scale again, as we usually do around here. And this may be a conundrum that a lot of you guys face. Um, if you're like me and have gotten back into the hobby recently after having been in it before, and... Uh, you have a bunch of existing rolling stock and locomotives, but you want to add to that fleet, you might run into this issue. So, and this is true for HO scale as well, but uh, I don't have the stuff to cover that right now. So what we've got here is I've got my older locomotive. This is a an Atlas Cotto RS3. As you can see, it's using the old style Rapido hook couplers. What I have here is a newer piece of rolling stock. This has the newer style magnetic couplers. Um, it doesn't matter if they're MTL or, or QuickMate or AccuMate or EasyMate or whatever kind of mates they've got. Um, this is true of any knuckle coupler. It's not going to connect up to your Rapido equipped engine. Likewise, if you have a newer locomotive like this Atlas here, and you want to run it with a bunch of old rolling stock, you can't. So what are your solutions? You can either only run like components, or you can swap out everything to the newer style knuckle couplers. Uh, pros and cons to each, of course. Obviously, if you want to run say this box car with this locomotive you can't unless you swap couplers on your locomotive on this particular RS3 uh, with the truck mounted couplers and fully open pilots it's not an easy thing to do because it requires some cutting and some gluing and some additional modifications and the kit is a little expensive I think it's about 17 US dollars for a kit that just does one locomotive optionally you can swap all of your rolling stock over. Uh, you can get kits to do that. Um, difficulty can vary depending on the manufacturer. Um, a lot of my rolling stock is old Bachman and Atlas and uh, lifelike. But I came across kind of a cheat and I read something about this on one of the Facebook groups if I remember correctly. It might have been and scale model railroad um, what I did was I went on to eBay as I often do and I picked up this guy right here it's a uh, it's a Bachman piece of rolling stock and the reason I found Bachman specifically and you can buy these components separately but I bought a piece of rolling stock on here for a couple of different reasons you can buy these trucks with the uh, the couplers already equipped in packages from MTL, and they're they're not real cheap. And I think you get like three pairs of trucks, so you can convert three pieces of rolling stock, and that's it. Um, the thing about Bachman is the trucks are screwed on. But on other types, um, Atlas and I think Lifelike and maybe even Model Power, the trucks are riveted on. So that presents a little bit of a difficulty if you want to try to convert those. So I figured, well, why bother with all that? Let's, uh, let's cheat. So let me get my, uh, my rolling stock onto the little pad here. What we're going to do is we're going to swap a pair of these couplers. And you can also swap wheels also if you want, and I probably will do that. So I have uh, metal wheels on one and plastic on the other. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our little screwdriver here. And again, this is why I selected Bachman, because their trucks are screwed on. We are going to take one truck 
from each piece of rolling stock and swap it onto the other. You guys see where we're going with this? And you may have to do some some fiddling with it. For instance, on this one, we're a little high, or excuse me, a little low, I guess it would be, in regards to our, uh, our mount, because we need to uh, clearance the hole in this truck here to fit around the little nub. Or do we? Or do we just need to press it? Yeah, that's not going right home, so we'll have to take just the tiniest amount off of either the outside diameter of this post or the inside diameter of this uh, this truck. But we can view our results on this side. So what we have here, and again I'll swap the, the wheels over and the axles later because I believe they're the exact same width. Obviously the wheels are the exact same width apart for MNR, NMRA standards. But what we've got here is a piece of rolling stock that you can connect a Rapido locomotive on one end and connect them to your knuckle coupler cars if you want to or flip it around you got your knuckle coupler locomotive on this side and your Rapido rolling stock on this side and you can use these to mix and match but uh, yeah, this is just using one $9 piece of rolling stock that I picked up off of eBay. So I figured this would be a, a pretty cool budget uh, mod for you guys. And uh, hopefully it'll save you some money. Uh, let me know if you do this already. Uh, let me know if you think it's a stupid idea. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down, leave me a comment and tell me why. So we can uh, have a discussion. Don't just leave a thumbs down, be a coward, and run away. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Trains with Shane. And I will see you on the next one.